I'm like, let me, let me comb your hair. Let me comb your hair. Can I comb your hair? Come on. Enough, 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 enough. Leave me alone. Come on, bitch. Ugh. Man, those women are crazy. Welcome to Manuel TV on Twitch live right now. What's up, my ninja? Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Wow. What a Hello, great... Hello, everybody. What He's so loud. He's like... What a great actress. <laughs> clearly, clearly... Uh, I never took an acting class in my life. Clearly, <laughs> you're in porn because of your acting skills. That's exactly why everyone told me I'm so good at it, so I'm just the best <laughs> actress ever. I mean, I act like I like Manuel, so I'm doing a good job, right? <laughs> 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 Elle dit, je lui dis, clairement, tu es là pour tes talents Elle dit, je joue bien la comédie quand je fais genre, je te kiffe bien. <laughs> Stop it, it's not working. It's not working, I'm into it again. Enough, enough. <laughs> 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 okay, so I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions and I will translate in French. Okay. So, All right. how old are you? I know I should never ask a woman this, but they want to know. They're gonna ask, so. I am 21 years old. Elle a 21 ans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you something, okay? Four days ago? Mm -hmm. No. Today is 11. Mm -hmm. Three days ago, I celebrated my 21 anniversary in Prome. No way. Oh my gosh, they've been doing it as long as I've been alive. So then. I started porn the year you were born. Elle a l'âge de ma carrière <laughs> dans le porno. This is difficult. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> I don't know if I can. No, I can. I can definitely. <laughs> uh, let me bring my. My problem when I get all turned on, I get that really weird, perverted face where my jaw goes like this. <laughs> He's an animalistic. Right. He can't even control it. <laughs> Are you turned on yet? Right. Oh. <laughs> like that? She's so cute. She's so cute. Look at this girl. She's so cute. Oh my god. All right. Uh, how did you decide to start in porn? What made you think, you know what? Porn is a good idea for me. Um, I decided to do porn because. I wanted to do something that I felt like I would enjoy waking up in the morning and doing. Um, I had tried doing other jobs before and I knew that I thought I wanted to be a teacher. So I was kind of going on that route and then one day I woke up and I was like, I feel like I've always watched porn since I was young and I really enjoyed it. Like I was enamored by it. I thought it was such a cool thing. And I, I thought like, I want to be able to like, give the world the kind of joy that I get when I watch porn. Like, okay. I love it so much and it makes me so happy, especially when I can tell somebody actually is enjoying what they're doing. And I was like, if I'm able to bring that same energy to the screen that other people bring, that would, that would really make mm. me happy. That's so, awesome. Thank you. So I went out and I did my research to see who was the best agency and I, I made sure I said I'm only going to do it if I get with this agency because I figured if I don't make it in this agency, that means it wasn't meant for yeah, me yeah. that I shouldn't I do it. it. And so. you're, you are with the right agent. Like Thank everyone you. knows who, who your agent is. <laughs> so let me translate. En fait, elle voulait faire un truc dans la vie qu'elle voulait aimer, peu importe ce que c'était. Et à la base, elle voulait être prof. Et puis après, elle s'est rendue compte qu'elle voulait faire autre chose et qu'elle adorait déjà à la base regarder du porno. Et elle s'est dit, pourquoi pas moi Pourquoi je ne pourrais pas, moi, en faisant du porno, donner autant de plaisir que ces gens que j'ai regardés qui m'ont donné du plaisir et voilà, elle voulait aussi commencer seulement avec une seule agence, la meilleure agence, l'agent qui s'appelle Mark Spiegler, ici aux états unis Et euh, c'est comme ça qu'elle a commencé, elle a rencontré ce mec-là et elle a dit, allez, on y va. C'est vraiment nice. Merci. Comment did uh, your surrounding, your family, friends, react to you starting porn? Oh, um, I told my mom and she started to cry. She was not happy, it was not oh. good. Yeah, I t and then my brother found out and he cried too. So I guess my whole family is just very emotional. We cry easily. So um, they were not happy, but once I was able to relate to them that it was a safe environment, because you know, when you hear something like that, you don't understand 
everything behind it. You just yeah. hear the first thing you hear. So I understand. And also, why your, ima your imagination can be dangerous. Absolutely, you know, like yeah. And especially with the things that media shows you, it doesn't exactly. make it seem like a safe environment. Totally. So I can see how they were upset and sad. But once I told them the way I was going about it and that I was safe and I was, it, there was a very much better environment than what they thought. Um, they were able to accept it. So like they're not exactly proud of what I'm doing, but they're proud that I'm taking the steps to become independent and be the person okay. that I want to be. Okay. So. Cool. Je lui ai demandé en fait comment sa famille l'a pris et elle me dit qu'en fait quand elle l'a dit à sa mère, euh, elle a pleuré. Et ensuite quand son frère l'a appris, il a pleuré aussi. On lui dit, euh, elle, elle dit qu'elle qu vient d'une famille qui, qui est très émotive. Et que, en fait, le problème, c'est que c'est leur imagination et, et ce qu'ils voient du porno pour eux, ils ont un peu paniqué parce qu'ils se disent euh, Merde, qu'est-ce qui va se passer là-là Et une fois qu'ils se ils sont rendus compte qu'elle le faisait de manière très saine et qu'elle était très bien entourée, que finalement, même s'ils n'en sont pas super fiers, ils l'acceptent quand même. Yeah, the biggest thing my mom said was she was like, To me, everybody's going to see you and they're going to just see like. A, a porn star like a dirty nasty girl mm -hmm. and she was like and I know that you're not that I know you're so much more than that and I was like but mom like as long as I know who I am that's all that matters like everybody can have all their opinions about me but it doesn't mean that it's the truth you know like all that matters is my truth and that I know who I am it's true so that it, it doesn't care I don't care yeah. what they say en fait sa mère elle lui disait le problème c'est aussi les gens vont te regarder comme euh, une meuf un peu crade parce que tu fais du porno et ils, ils te verront que comme la, la, la star du porno et, et que sa mère, elle lui a dit en fait qu'elle, elle sait qu'elle est bien plus que juste une star du porno. Et elle s'est dit, euh, elle a dit à sa mère, mais moi du moment que je sais qui je suis, c'est tout ce qui compte. Et sa mère, elle a, elle a dit, ok, elle a compris quoi. High five. Ah! Ah! Don't be rough with Next me. Next time on your face. I might like, I might like it, you don't know. Maybe I'm that type of guy. Maybe I play like the big guy and everything, but really what I like is to be spanked. Oh, yeah? Hell no. Yeah, he really, he's telling the truth. He's letting out all the secrets. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you try that. You try that, woman. We're going to try it today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> so... How did your first scene go? Comment s'est passée ta première scène? Oh, my first scene, um, I was very nervous. Like, I was excited, but I was nervous at the same time, which I feel like that's probably most people's reaction when they do it. Um, I just wanted to do a good job. So, like, the whole time in my head, I was like, I have to make sure. I was thinking about what the viewer is seeing the whole time. I was like, I want to make sure yeah. that everything looks good on their part, and I also want to make sure that I'm enjoying myself. I don't want to overthink it too much because then I'm not going to be enjoying myself either, yeah. and that's not the point of this. So I was very nervous, but once we got into it, I was just like so happy to be there. And oh, I realized good. right away, I was like, this is right for me. I was like, I'm oh, not, awesome. I don't feel like I'm making a mistake right now. Yeah. So that was great. It couldn't ever be worse than Caden's first time I was there. So <laughs> What? What happened so her first time? She sucked. Well, shut up. No, don't serious. say that. No, no, listen. She's my wife now. Mm -hmm. But after I did her first scene, mm -hmm. I refused to work for her, with her for like at least three years. You're joking. She was such a bitch. What? And she was such like, like, she would start sucking the dick and like 10 seconds into sucking the, the dick, she was like, how's my makeup? How's my makeup? <laughs> like she would cut every 10 seconds asking about her makeup. She didn't want to kiss because she didn't want her makeup to be well, gone. Well, she wants to make sure she looks good. No, no, no. That's important. But also there are ways to do it. Like she was a cunt. I don't believe uh, it. Uh, dude, if you ask her, when next time you see Kaden, ask her, how was your first scene? No, I'm not asking. Listen. It was so bad because I always make fun of her because of it. It was so bad that it was supposed the movie was supposed to be called Caden Loves Manuel. Mm -hmm. It's Caden Hates Manuel. I called <laughs> myself the owner of the company to tell him, do not call this movie that because clearly there is no love. <gasps> no. It oh was my goodness. so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, Toton, uh, French star. Go on the team, Caden, after the man on the sub snare. No, but for real, like, and, and we always joke about mm -hmm. this. Because like then forever people were trying to book us together and she had no idea. Oh my I remember God. one time I was at a party and she was uh, with a camera guy doing interviews of people. Mm -hmm. She came to do an interview. I just turned around and walked away. Oh my God. Dude, that was a big the thing. ultimate love story. And then they ended up happy ever ended after. Up, yeah, right? <laughs> Maybe not, but let's see. <laughs> Maybe not that happy. No, no. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> I'm up. fucking with you. I'm joking. Of course I love my wife. Come on. She knows. <laughs> 
She knows. <laughs> so, um, do you play any video games? Uh, I do not play video games. What? Actually, je ne sais pas si vidéo. I know what. I played sports when I was younger, though. Actually, a lot of sports. Uh, my mom made me be in sports, and really, yeah, at the time. What sports did you play? Okay, so I started off with cross country. After cross country, I did water polo and swim. Because if you do water polo, you have to do swim as mm -hmm. well. The swim season. So I did both of those. Then after that, I did volleyball, and then I ended off my high school career with golf. So I did. You should come fun. play volleyball with me. You know what? Volleyball was my least favorite out of all really? of them. Yeah, I would rather go golfing than play really? volleyball. I play volleyball every Tuesday night. Really? But you're oh so tall. Like, you know? That's the thing. Everyone was like, oh, you're tall, so you'll be good at volleyball. And I did it, and that was like the one I was the least good at. No so way. I was a much better golfer and a much better water polo player Donc than I was at volleyball. So she did cross country, the natation, the water polo, the volley, and the golf. Mm -hmm. Mais le sport qu'elle aimait le moins faire, c'était du volet. <laughs> yeah, those are all of them. But I mean, golf was the one of the most fun for me though because it's like it really challenges your brain a lot yeah. too because like everybody it looks like such an easy sport. You're like all you have to do is hit the dang ball with the thing. And it's so hard like you there's a lot of technique behind it and you have of to course. have a lot of patience and I don't naturally have patience at mm -hmm. all. So once I started playing that, I really was able to teach me those lessons. That's so it. Uh, being in sports taught me a lot because at first like I said I was mad at my mom for making me do it but then I was happy because not only does it teach you so many things but you gain so many friendships and good memories sure. from it so that, yeah. that was the most important part elle, elle expliquait que le golf ça lui a appris pas mal de la discipline mais aussi euh, au début elle détestait que sa mère les forçait à faire du sport mais que ensuite elle s'est rendue compte que euh, elle lui devait quelque chose par rapport à ça parce que ça lui a fait beaucoup de bonnes mémoires et beaucoup d'amitié beaucoup de I went to school to be a PE teacher Oh yeah, teacher, that's yeah. awesome! Oh yeah. my gosh, that is super cool. Yeah, did you like it or no? I, I, no, I loved it. Mm -hmm. Like that's, I, I feel like I was only born to do physical mm -hmm. things, like you know, sports mm -hmm. and fucking. Sports, you know? <laughs> that's very physical. In case right? you didn't know, you have to have a lot of stamina. Physical, right? <laughs> yeah. Elle dit il faut vraiment. C'est très physique parce qu'il faut avoir beaucoup d'énergie et beaucoup de stamina. Where are you originally from, without giving us your a exact address, but what no, area do you... Uh, Riverside, California. Oh, so California. I was, yeah, I'm not okay. far from Los Angeles at all. I was only like an hour and a half away. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah, not far. Is Everyone it... thinks I'm like from some super foreign place or something. No. Well, just you, look, you look a little exotic. <laughs> you have the dark hair, the dark eyes, the s skin. Yeah. What's your origin? Okay, so my mom is Mexican and Native okay. American, and my dad is Mexican and white. Oh, okay. I always get like Indian or Middle Eastern. People always think that I'm one of those. Just and I'm, put a dot, right? I know, right? No, I, I swear. I even asked my mom because, like, I went to my mom one day. I was like, Mom, are you sure my dad is my dad? Like, are you positive? <laughs> because I was like, There's no way. Like, I have to be a mix of something else. And she's like, No. Yes, you can't, yeah. No way. She's and yeah. what, um, you know, it's funny. It's funny that you say that. Like, like I thought you were more Latina than yeah, anything. Okay, yeah. And I was like, maybe Persian. Maybe yeah, I get that all the time. Yeah, all the time. Nope, really? none, none of it at all. Let me hold on. Let me. Mm -hmm. uh, salut Manu. Uh, de, de, de quel autre est-ce que uh, négatif sur le développement de mon pénis et le petit sniveau? Uh, no. So he's asking about his penis because he doesn't. Mm -hmm. He can't pull the whole skin. Okay. And he's asking if it hurts his developing the penis and I'm like no ça fait rien du tout en fait ça change rien sur la taille ou euh, de décaloter ou pas sorry no so like what do you mean like when you pull it all the way so back yeah like for or? example mm -hmm. my penis I have a thing called phimosis phimosis it's not a disease mm -hmm. no, no no I didn't think it was <laughs> it's it's when your foreskin is not large enough when you're erect okay to be pulled all the way back okay so for me when my skin is pulled I can but mm -hmm. it's a little painful, painful. Mm -hmm. yeah um, so a lot of people have that problem when growing oh, I up I, mm -hmm. growing up I thought I was weird Aww. right yeah because you know you don't no, it's hard. look you at don't other know. guys yeah. dicks no you know? <laughs> maybe you do <laughs> I, I don't the only time I would see other guys dicks was watching porn yeah, you know yeah. mm -hmm. and then it, most of them didn't have false skin so okay. I couldn't tell mm -hmm. you know and then I found out later that it was just a natural thing. No, like absolutely. A lot of people have that problem. And I think it's great to have foreskin because there's so much more sensitivity and nerves in that area that yes. like people don't have if it's cut off. So I just don't like yeah. a friend of mine, mm -hmm. big porn star in mm -hmm. Europe. 
he had circumcision when he was already an adult, like Did older. Did he regret it? Completely regret yep, it. I bet. He mm -hmm. told me like for years he did, he never had the same sensations oh, that he no. had before. That would suck so yeah. bad. Yeah, but he had to. I guess he had to because something happened down there. He oh. had to have it. Mm -hmm. That sucks. Yeah, it does suck. <laughs> it sucks. Uh, before we keep going, uh, what are all your social media? Oh, okay. So um, everything's the same: Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Okay. Uh, let me put it. Mm -hmm. So Twitter, IG, Snapchat. It's. Yep. At the light. Oh, oh, okay. Blue. Okay. Yep. Blue uh, is a moderator on my channel, so oh, I put it on. Thank you, thank you, Blue. Si vous voulez la suivre sur uh, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, on vous a mis tous ces réseaux sociaux. Eliza22, Ibarra. How did you pick your stage name? Uh, okay, so um, Eliza, there was a cartoon show I used to watch when I was younger called The Wild Thornberries. And there was a girl on that show called Eliza, and she was a very, like, kind adventurous character and she loved animals so like i always related to her a lot and ever since then i like that name and uh, i looked up the meaning of the name eliza also and it means joy like joy oh, that's so nice. I, yeah and i really like that a lot and so i have always wanted that but um the last name ibarra actually was kind of a last minute decision uh there's like you know there's hot chocolate there's also mexican hot chocolate so it tastes different and um there's a brand of mexican hot chocolate called ibarra so I was looking at it and I was like, you know what? Like I kind of like that, and I put the two names together, and I was like, you, that sounds good. You're talking my language. Yeah. <laughs> you like chocolate? Yes, I love chocolate. <laughs> She's Mexican chocolate. <laughs> yes. She's Mexican chocolate. <laughs> That's how I came up with my last Look name. Look what's going on right now. Oh. His heart's beating. <laughs> <laughs> Alors, elle, elle, Eliza, elle a pris par rapport à un personnage euh, de dessin animé qu'elle aimait quand elle était plus jeune. Et euh, aussi, le, elle a regardé ce que ça voulait dire. Eliza, ça veut dire la joie. Et Ibarra, c'est parce que c'est le nom d'un type de chocolat mexicain qu'elle aime beaucoup. Elle trouvait que ça sonnait bien. I, I think it's a great statement. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, some people, uh, when I first came out with it, a lot of people were like, no, don't pick that. Like, it's so hard to spell. Like, nobody's going to know how to pronounce it. And I was like... But so many people have names that people don't know how to pronounce and they're still able to be successful and stuff. So I didn't like let that change my mind because a lot of people were like, no, pick something easier. And I was like, but I like the way that sounds. So yeah, certain person lui disait, no, ne prends pas ce nom, c'est dur à, à prononcer. Mais elle, elle a aimé, du coup, elle est restée avec. That's good. Yeah. Uh, uh, have you ever traveled around the world? Did you go places? Not really. Um, I've been to like just in within the United States. I don't have my passport, so I don't. What? Yeah, I don't even have my passport you yet. You need to have a passport now. I know. No, I do. I do. My agent's been telling me too. He's like, get one. Um, but I have just been around like regular places. Like I've been to Oregon, like Nevada, like okay. uh, Ohio, like weird random places uh, that nobody wants to go to. <laughs> elle a pas de passeport, donc elle est jamais sortie des États-Unis. Uh, donc elle est allée, euh, elle est allée euh, au Nevada, Ohio. Uh, yeah, because no, I have some family in Ohio. Yeah, yeah. I, used to, so. I used to have a girlfriend from Ohio. Really? It's not a good place to go. There. I would not suggest ever. And she was like there. in the land, like in the countryside. Mm -hmm. So she took me to a fair where they give prize for the best pig, the best, you know. How cute! That's adorable. Yeah, they we were don't have all stuff like, like they that. They were all like giant people. Really? Like big. I'm not surprised. That sounds like Ohio. There's. It's so weird because some of the cows were smaller than the ladies there. Oh my god, stop! For real though, <laughs> some of them, dude, I was like, no way. There's nothing to do there except eat all day, so they have nothing else it. to do. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. So you never been to France, mm -mm. the best country in the world, no, I never been with to the France. most beautiful people in the world? I bet. <laughs> Hello. I mean, <laughs> in my country, I'm ugly. And in my country, I have a small penis. Is that true, you guys? Je dis que dans mon dans mon pays, je suis moche et que j'ai une petite bite. Compared to the that. other one, comparé aux autres, in my country, I'm an ugly motherfucker <laughs> with a tiny penis. He mais, goes there, nobody even looks at him. They're like, mais, that guy? <laughs> they're all see, yes, of course, <laughs> true, hundred hundred percent true. Look at everybody's like true, true. You see? I don't believe. Somebody say that's false. Somebody say that's not no, true. No, look. 100% see <laughs> true story I'm not lying okay so who is like a handsome guy from France then who do you guys view like give us a name of somebody that's like very uh, considered very handsome I want to know who is the beau gosse in France for you <laughs> he said 
said he's not ugly. <laughs> well, I didn't say I'm ugly. I said compared to the others, I'm not that attractive. <laughs> Quand t'as gars connu Stardust. Michael Drucker. Benzai. Future. Macron. Oh, you guys like oh. <laughs> the people are going crazy. Oh, Manuel Ferrara, it's me. it's me. I agree. I don't think he's ugly. You guys are crazy. I didn't say I'm ugly. I said compared to the others, I'm not that attractive. But it is time right now to play a game. Ooh, I, like I want to play a game. <laughs> no, not that kind of game. Not that kind of game. <laughs> to cut off my arm. It is called, yeah, right. To get out of here. <laughs> you have either to cut out your left arm and your right foot or to suck my dick. I think I'll cut off my left arm and my right foot. <laughs> I'll be the porn star with no arm and no foot. Like, imagine how famous I'll be. Everybody will love me. Je dis pour sortir d'ici, il faut ou que tu coupes ton pied gauche et ton bras droit ou que tu me suces. Elle dit bon, bah, je vais couper mon pied et mon bras. Elle dit euh, je serai la seule porn star avec un pied et une jambe. Euh, un pied et un bras. That is funny. You're a funny girl. Thank you, thank you. And, you, and, you, and you're cute. Oh, stop it! I know. So, it's time to play... Learn French with my girl Ferrara. Okay, okay. Okay, Let's do it. so for this, I need to bring this camera a little closer to you. <laughs> yes, come closer. All right, I'm all shaky, it's okay, come here. So... <sighs> <laughs> so, I'm going to teach you something that will help you if you ever go to Paris, okay. especially to Paris. Right. You're going to say, Bon de bata. Bon de bata. She speaks French. <laughs> you said that perfectly. Now, I want you to say it, but with like, Bon de bata. Bon de bata. That's pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> now you're going to say, Ta mère la pute. Ta mère la pute. What am I saying, you guys? Is he having me saying bad stuff? Is this naughty stuff? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Now you're gonna say, Sus ma bite. Sus ma bite. <laughs> what am I saying? He has me saying bad stuff. No, huh? no, no, no. Now, okay. now you're gonna say, Allez les bleus. Allez les bleus. Yes, that's good. <laughs> Again, Allez les bleus. 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 <laughs> I mean, let's go to Blue, which is the French team, then final oh, the World Cup. Oh, okay. Allez les Bleus! Allez les Bleus! Oh, la 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 Yes! Go! I like you. You're so fun. Was that my lesson of the day? You should have been a French teacher. Oh, yeah. I can teach you. I'm, I'm going to teach you a lot about <laughs> French today. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying. He's a, a French kissing. <laughs> yeah. Do you like French kissing? Um. Okay, so the thing is, I don't like kissing that much. But what? that's because I'm not good at it. Um, I don't. I don't like doing stuff that I'm not good at, okay. so I don't... So I want you today to forget about this because my biggest turn on is kissing. Really? I hear that so much and I feel bad because I'm not good at okay. it. Okay, But what do you, what do you think that? What makes I don't you? know. I don't think I ever got that much practice kissing. Maybe that's what it was. I never kissed that much growing up. So this is what's going on, okay? okay. Today, you're going to come in not so good at kissing and you will live a queen of kissing. Because honestly, my penis doesn't get hard if I can kiss. Oh no! It's true. Oh my it's goodness! True. It's okay. Like, it's like the most important thing. For me. It's true. It's true. It's okay, true. I'll I'm try my France. best. I'm from France. <laughs> but, but I don't want you to think that kissing is already good. <laughs> but de la Croatie. Oh, there's a soccer game right now happening. Oh, yeah? for, it's the second semi-final. So mm -hmm. whoever wins today between England and Croatia will go in the final against France. Oh my gosh. Who do you guys think is going to make it? I demand qui vous pensez qui va aller en finale. Encore un but là? C'est 2-1 maintenant? Et il reste combien de temps? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's 2-1 for, for Croatia. Oh, right okay. Now. So it's close then. Il reste combien de temps à jouer là? Everyone's saying Croatia. 
Elle fait quoi dans la vie Elle est actrice porno, gros. Is that who you guys want to win because you think France will be able to beat them? Or is that who you think yeah, it's it's 15 minutes. Win? They have 15 minutes left and it's 2-1 for Croatia. Oh my goodness. They, they are both really good team. Okay. Well. Ah, c'est la deuxième prolongation. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Some people say 1-1, one, one, some people say 2-1. Two, two, one. One. Oh, they don't know the good address. What, what, is, what is going on? Are you going to look it up? <laughs> no, I, I, oh, no, I'm, I'm going to do this. 2-1. So it's 2-1 mm -hmm. for Croatia right now. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Eliza Ibarra, we're going to put uh, your social media again. On va remettre euh, les réseaux sociaux de Elisa, s'il vous plaît. Elisa. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, I like that. It sounds pretty. There is a song. Hold on. There is a great French song. Uh, from one of the best ever. Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm a little slow with it. No, Like 1969. Oh my gosh! Let's say 69, my favorite. Perfect year. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, it's so adorable. Elisa. 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 You're gonna have to translate it for me. Tell me what he's saying. Super easy. I love that. How cute. He's talking about a girl that's 20 and he's 40. Mm -hmm. But how, you know. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's like Come it's like us right now. <laughs> is that it lying be... to me? Is that the real thing? No, it's for real, for real. For real? You're joking. Yeah. No, no. He's talking about. He, he says in the song, "You're 20 in my in my 40s." Oh my gosh! Wow, that's interesting. What are the chances? Sorry? I said, what are the chances? That's right? crazy. Hey, Lisa. I love that. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> they said it was made for you guys. <laughs> oh, we have a song on the phone, <laughs> hey? What's going on? <laughs> That's a What's special happening? song. That's a special song. I like that song. <laughs> All right. Merci à tous d'être venus. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Please follow Eliza on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and follow her career because something tells me that this year she's gonna win a really big award. So, Aww. no, it's true. Look at you. If she learns how to kiss, she will win. <laughs> Today is the day. Today is the day. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk to you soon. À bientôt, les amis. Au revoir. Goodbye. Au revoir. Oh. Bande de bâtards. Bande de bâtards. You said you're a band of bastards, that's fucked up. No! No, no, no! <laughs> you're the worst. Salut les gars! Merci uh, pour le resub, uh, Crash Down PSG. Salut les gars, bye! Je vais aller la canne. That's true. Salut!